Hello Lego fans, Jarve Bricks here with another haul. So, got some big box there and a couple of little ones. Uh, they're from Amazon, they're from Bricklink, and they're from Lego Pick a Brick Wall. So, let's see what we got. So, first of all, let's get this big one out of the way. It does actually say on the box what it is, so it's not that much of a surprise. Right, how am I going to get this out? Okay, let's, let's give this box a little cut. There we go. Oh, still won't come out. So, yes, you've guessed, it's just another storage box. So, hopefully this is the last one of this particular size. Uh, just like the ones behind it, it's just going to, this one's just going to go that way against that wall over there. And mainly I want to separate all of my tiles because for instance, at the moment, that's my box of tiles with, and that's just sort of uh, bright colors and then these are black, white, dark blue, dark red, dark green. And then these are my browns and beiges. So I just wanted to separate all of them. Um, so that is for that. Next, this is from the Lego pick a brick wall. and it's just 200 tiles. You pay a little bit more than you typically would in your um, Bricklink, uh, they're 13 pence per tile, whereas in Bricklink you probably should be getting them around for about eight or nine pence, but unfortunately at the moment, for some unknown reason, it's impossible almost in Britain anyway, uh, to buy them at a decent price. Uh, so they're just, you can get hold of a couple, but not in the quantities I want. So there is 200 there. Saying that, I, I bought um, something the other day from uh, Belgium and it was just the 5 by 2 by what trans blue brick. I bought 77 and they cost something like £9 and then postage cost me £10. So I paid double, which is really irritating. So I tend to, when I buy things, I always look at a shop within the UK and then you're only talking one or two pound postage. Uh, so I think if I wanted to get more tiles from mainland Europe or anywhere else, I would pay even worse because of the postage. So that's why I went on the Lego pick a brick wall because then it's, you know, it's 13 pounds and a couple of quid postage. 13 pence, sorry, and a couple of quid postage. So next we've got a pick a brick order with a nice little note. Really well packaged, this one. So here I got some um, uh, modified tiles with the jumper stud in the middle, and that's for my wall, which is uh, along the, the road near the docks. I started to get these. I emptied this shop of all they had of these because I want to eventually redo my museum. Uh, when I built my museum, I didn't have many uh, these cylinder bricks 
and I wasn't really buying stuff off pick a brick didn't know how it worked at the time so I've got a mixture of this color dark gray and light gray in a certain pattern to make the pillars uh, so I want to make it more uniform and I think I've become a better builder as that museum was probably one of my first first five proper mocks so uh, I'm going to start collecting these type of things over the next few brick bricklink orders when the shop has them uh, because I do want to do uh, redo that mock eventually these if you've been watching my uh, apartment tower block I said that I was um, didn't have any in this color well, actually I did have two but not enough and I have to do the roof so I used some um, alt alternate colors of red some yellow dark bluish gray and just looks daft but so I've got these uh, so I can finish off the roof and that's just for the edging these little things because they're always handy to get I bought them for no particular reason so it's just the one by two dark bluish gray tiles one by two jumper plates and that is purely for the sign on Jim's diner I did I finished this the sign but I didn't have that color I so the yellow is the back sorry the background is yellow and I wanted it to be pink like the rest so I just bought them to replace and the reason I went to this shop initially was to get these and that's for my skyscraper uh, so between the trans blue uh, two by one by five bricks I have one of these which I'd ran out of so that was the reason I went to the shop initially and I saw these uh, these were really cheap and I love these bricks I think they're great for well, for obvious reasons um, so and I didn't have too many so I bought I don't know how many I bought actually but I bought that many however many is in my hand so I thought that would look quite good once I come up with a design to use them more often than not it's just to cover the front with tiles but we'll see so that's it that's the end of the haul so thank you for watching uh, let us know what you think of the haul I've got a uh, good fun now uh, stocking up this container and storage container and uh, I also want to start separating my kinetic things I might actually need another one purely for my um, not kinetic I don't know why I said that technic for my technic bits they're all together as a big hodgepodge and it can be difficult to find things I don't use technic that often but uh, I want to have one of these filled with technic so I'll see how much room there is after I've um, separated all those tiles and see how it goes so thank you for watching Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will have hopefully my third uh, tutorial on the uh, apartment blocks in the next three or four days. Although I am going away for a couple of days so it will probably be delayed and then I can just finish off that roof uh, and then that will all be finished. So thanks for watching and goodbye.